Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, I'm going to ask you a question. What shall I call you? I've lived with a progressive disability since birth, and I have had many labels attached to me over the years, many of which are now considered politically incorrect. The medical community addressed me as crippled, feeble-limbed, handicapped, physically challenged, disabled, impaired, and a person living with a disability. Can I get another roommate, please? And the one that gets me right now, it seems to be people trying to push this one, otherly abled. I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> Anyhow, until my diagnosis of Charcot Marie tooth disease it has nothing to do with my teeth. It's named after three doctors who discovered it all around the same time over a hundred years ago. Neurologists labeled me as a patient exhibiting a congenital progressive neuropathy of the peripheral nervous system. That's a lot of fancy words. People still ask me what they should call me when referring to my disability, and my standard cheeky response is, just call me Catherine, and if we get to know one another, you can call me Kath. However, growing up in school, on the street, and then in the workplace lunchrooms, people often labeled me with words that I would rather not repeat. Bullies, with the sole intent to demean and wound, use those words, and sometimes those bullies cloaked their words in social niceties, but their inflection clearly stated their disdain. Those barbs really hurt and they dug deep into my heart and the enemy of my soul kept me captive by attaching invisible strings to each of those hooks. As each string was pulled, my misery deepened. The accuser was my cruel puppet master and I could not break free from the role he assigned to me. He whispered, you are less than anyone, anything, any other creature on the planet, you're less than them. And I believed him. I had no choice but to wear that label as a name tag for the entire world to see. Thank God he delivered me from the enemy's snare and my identity is now found in Christ. He tells me that I may no longer call myself anything but his own. He says that I am his child. I am the salt of the earth. I am a friend of Christ. I am a slave of righteousness and I am a prisoner of Christ. I am so much more than this earthly shell and yet God loves this earthly shell of mine with all of its quirks. I'm going to end off by reading a portion of a list that you can find on my website called Encouraging Bible Quotes. Look for the list there that is called Who Am I in Christ? I'm not going to read them all because there's quite a few here, but if you go to the website, you should be able to print them out. I want you to take your time as you listen to these truths and look up the Bible verses that are attached and begin to speak the truth about yourself out loud by reading the Bible verses out loud. I am a child of God. God is spiritually my father. Romans 8 14 to 15. I am chosen of God, holy and dearly loved. Colossians 3, 12 to 13. I am a new creation in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I am in Christ. Galatians 3, 27 to 28. I am God's workmanship created in Christ for good works. Ephesians 2, 
10. If you struggle with a sense of shame because you might be overweight, you might be disabled, you might not be the most gorgeous person out there, or at least you think that you're not, repeat this after me. I am God's workmanship, created in Christ for good works, and God never makes junk. Along that same theme, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 3.16, 1 Corinthians 6, 19. God wouldn't put the Holy Spirit to dwell within us if he didn't consider our temple a place where the Holy Spirit could reside. I am created after the likeness of God, righteous and holy. Ephesians 4, 24. You are a lot more than the labels people have plastered on you, and you're a lot more than the labels that you have plastered on yourself as well.